Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 11 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to create dynamic column values using reusable local variable in Mapping Data Flow. Okay, so let's see what our requirement is. So we want to create column values dynamically using local variable present in Mapping Data Flow. So if you see the first image, this is our source data. It is basically a SQL table where we have uh, these many rows. Okay. If you see the employee skill column, it is having the details of employee name as well as the skill name Okay, associated with this employee. And in the second column, we have the number of experience of this employee. Okay. And all the other columns that is employee name and description and rating are null. So basically, we need to fill these three column values with the help of details present in the first column that is employee skill and ex and second column that is experience okay so uh, the output should look something like this okay uh, we should have employee name coming from the first half of this uh, employee skill value that is before this colon whatever value is present it is basically the employee name okay and in the description we need to mention what is the employee skill so we have to grab the employee name first and we have to write the employee name dynamically for each column and then we have to append has as the string and then we have to grab the skill value that is the second half of this first column that is after semicolon whatever is present is basically the skill set name so we have to uh, assign that value here and then we have to again concatenate it with the word called skill so basically the description should be dynamically added for each row okay so Anu has SQL skill Ashish has Java skill Rajan has Python skill uh, Ranjana has dotnet skill okay so this should be dynamically generated and now coming to rating column it should be based on this experience column so here you can see if experience is less than 3 then uh, the employee is less experienced if experience is greater than 3 and less than 5 then employee is moderate experienced if experience is greater than 5 then the employee is highly experienced so uh, here you can see for Anu experience is 1 that is it is less than 3 so uh, the rating column should give Anu is less experienced based on this condition okay similarly Ashish has four uh, years of experience so it comes into this range second range so it, it should give moderate experience so Ashish is moderate experienced similarly for Rajan it is mm, six years so it should be highly experienced because it is uh, experience is greater than five similarly for Ranjana it is nine years of experience so it, it will also come under this range which is highly experienced so it should dynamically generate this rating column as well okay so basically this is our requirement and let's see how we can achieve this using mapping data flow okay so let me go to the azure portal okay and first let me show you the table present in my sql so the source table looks like this and we have to fill the details of these three columns using the data flow that we are going to create okay so let's go to the azure portal and start creating the data flow so first thing i have already created the data set pointing to my employee skill set table okay so let me preview the data for you here so you can see two columns are having data and the other three columns are empty and we have to fill the details after creation of data flow okay so let me add a new data flow here and my data flow debug is already on so you need to turn this on so that we can preview the data during the uh, creation of data flow okay now let me add a source and let me select the data set that I have created for this table okay now let me preview data here yeah so the source data is visible which is similar to what we saw in uh, SQL table okay so these three are nulls we have to rip we have to uh, dynamically generate these values okay so in order to uh, make changes in existing column we are we know that we have to use derive column transformation okay so let me use that and here we need to first make changes to employee name 
we have to grab the first value before the column symbol okay so let me do that let me make changes to employee name and here let me open expression builder since we need to split this value present in employee skill column based on the colon symbol so i will use split function okay so there is something called split and here if you see based on the symbol provided in the second argument we can split the value present in the first argument so based on com comma it can split th these values and it will return the uh, output in array okay if you want to grab the first value of the array then we need to use uh, index of 1 okay so similarly there are a few other examples so let me make use of this split function and on top of which column we are going to split we are going to split on top of employee skill column so let me choose that and on the basis of uh, which delimiter we are going to do that uh, it is colon in our case so let me write colon so if we preview the data here let me show you so it's returning uh, the output in an array format you can see the data has been splitted from string to an array and uh, there are two items of these array okay so if we want to grab only the name part which is the first uh, item then we need to use the first index okay because in data flow uh, the indexing start with one not zero okay so let me refresh it now so you can see only the name part is visible now okay so we are good with employee name let me preview data here as well yeah so you can see instead of null now employee name is coming earlier our data was null in this uh, column as well now it is coming for employee name okay now uh, comes the description part so here our uh, expected output is let me clear all this so our expected output for this description column is we need to get the name again from this emp skill uh, column and then we need to concatenate with other values okay so basically we are going to use this employee name three times in three columns one is in this column and then again in description column and then again if you see in rating column as well we are using this employee name so why to write this uh, set of code again and again so we can make use of something called local variable present here in the locals tab okay so this local variable can be used within the same transformation it cannot be passed on to the next transformation so basically if we need to share the logic between multiple columns then we can make use of this local variable so that we don't have to rewrite the code again and again okay so let me uh, copy this code and let me try to create a local variable and let me give a name as employee name and here in the expression i will just paste that code okay so we have this local variable present here so we can directly point to this local variable instead of writing rewriting that code okay so now you can see our expression has been changed so let me just hit refresh and our data should be similar to what we had earlier so yeah employee name is coming correctly now we will use the same local variable to generate the description uh, column okay so let me choose that and here let me add this local variable and then we will try to append the other values okay in description we need uh, this employee name has right let me add has as the string and then this value should be coming from the employee skill as again so now let me try to create another local variable for holding the skill value okay that will be the second part after uh, colon okay so let me create a new uh, variable and here let me give the name as uh, employee skill maybe and inside this expression we will use same split function on top of employee skill column right employee skill column and on the basis of colon we are going to split the uh, data and we are going to take the second item of array this time right so let me create this and here I will point to the same local variable okay and at the end we are going to concatenate it with let me open the expected output and we are going to concatenate it with uh, skill 
uh, string as a string ok. So, let me add skill ok. So, let me preview the data here by refreshing. So, let me uh, maximize it. So, let us wait. So, you can see dynamically it is generating the uh, whole description part right. Annu has SQL skill and Ashish has Java skill, Rajan has Python skill, Ranjana has .NET skill. So, it is what we expected for this description column. So, let me save and finish and now we have to create the column value for rating column right. So, let me add a new column for rating ok. Now, in the expression builder here let me go to the expected output the first uh, first thing we need to point to the uh, employee name again ok. So, let me hit on this local variable employee name and then we need is as the string. So, let me add is ok. Now, here uh, we have to dynamically check if the person is or the employee is less experienced or moderate experienced or highly experienced based on these three conditions. So, how to do this? Earlier we made use of if condition in our previous uh, video because there were only two conditions either this or that ok. But in this case we have to make we have three conditions right if experience is less than 3 or between 3 and 5 or more than 5. So, we cannot make use of if condition ok because if you see if condition there is either this output or this output if this condition satisfies then return this or return that ok only two uh, values we can get out of it. So, we can make use of case statement ok if you see what it does is uh, if this holds true then return this else this it is for one condition similarly if this holds true then return this else check for this condition if that is true then return that ok means it is checking multiple conditions. Similarly, if you see the last one if 10 plus 20 is equals to 25 then return this, but this will not hold true because the con if you see 10 plus 20 is equals to 30, but it is not matching with the output here. Okay, so, it will go to the second condition if it, it will check if do is greater than go if it is true then it will return this value, but as d is less than g. So, it will not return this else it will go to the default value that is this one Dumbo ok and it will return Dumbo. So, it means in case function we can uh, create multiple statements we can create multiple conditions and we can return the output based on those conditions ok. So, let me uh, create a new local variable ok here we will give name as employee ratings or something ok and here let me make use of case condition and here we will check for these three conditions ok if experience is less than 3. So, let me go to the input schema and here we will check for experience which is nothing but the same column coming from the SQL table ok. So, if experience is less than 3 ok then give me value as less 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 experienced right we need the value as less ok and similarly let me give comma if experience is greater than 3 and experience is less than 5 then give me moderate as the value ok. So, give me moderate as output ok. Now, similarly if experience is greater than 5 then give me highly experienced. So, let me give highly as the output ok. So, let me go to locals and here in employee rating we will choose that employee rating option ok and at the last we are going to give the string as experienced ok. So, let me give experienced. So, let me save and finish. Uh, so, it is saying expression type cannot could not be evaluated. So, let me check what wrong we did uh, in employee rating let me go back to this local variable and it is not evaluating it it is saying unable to parse. So, here 
we cannot use and function instead we need to give this uh, operator and operator okay so let me save and finish again and let me preview the data yeah so the data is visible you can see the rating column is coming and it is saying Anu is less experienced Ashish is moderate experienced and but uh, there is no space between less and experienced so I think I missed the space let me go to the let me go here and give one space okay so let me preview the data again yeah so now you can see it is coming perfectly okay for each column it is giving correct data because Anu is having one year of experience which is less than three so it is giving less experience and Ashish is having three to five uh, range of experience so it is giving moderate as the experience and uh, similarly for Rajan and Ranjana these two are having uh, more than five value so it is giving highly experienced for these two people so uh, our uh, requirement is achieved now let me load this data into the SQL table in our sync transformation okay so let me choose the same data set and here instead of insert we will allow up update and based on employee skill column because it is unique value for each of the uh, rows so let me uh, choose that and let me add alter row transformation for updating all the values okay so let me give true just for now and let me preview data in sync yeah so uh, the data is coming perfectly let me create a pipeline to run this data flow okay let me create let me hit on debug so currently we have three columns coming as null so let's wait for this data flow to be completed and then we will check if these three columns are having correct value or not okay so our data flow execution is completed now let's run this select star from the table query okay so you can see uh, all these three columns are having correct result as expected in our output okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet okay please stay tuned thank you